Hi guys! So today's video is going to be another one of my is it worth it videos. I think I have only done one so far on my channel. So that being said, I wanted to go ahead and do another one. Now before I jump into the video, I just want to say I haven't been filming a lot lately, but I may not be able to film a lot in these next coming weeks. Um, I just landed another job and I'm helping to set up the store and hours are like out of this world. I'm going to be so incredibly busy so I don't know if there's going to be time for me to sit down and film. I'm hoping to sit down and film again tomorrow if at all possible. We'll see how the day goes but just le letting you guys know that I may not be able to film. So yeah, just a heads up with that. So yeah, let's jump on into this video. Alright, so the product I'm going to be featuring today, as you can probably tell by the title, is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Now, I had had my eyes on this palette for the longest time. I'm a huge fan of rose gold. I just love the way that it looks. I've always really loved it, and I didn't realize that I liked it so much until I saw this palette. Now, I'd seen it going around on YouTube, and I'd seen other people talking about it, and I just fell in love with all the colors instantly. So my friend and I took a little road trip on down to Burlington, and we popped by Sephora, and of course, I snatched it right up. I wasn't going to, it was between the Naked 3 and the Smashbox palette, but you know, the Naked 3 kind of won me over. So if you don't know what it looks like, this is the packaging that it comes in. Again, the packaging is a really, really nice rose gold packaging. And I'll just read you quickly what it says on the back. It says, get ready to experiment with 12 totally new and insanely beautiful rose-hued neutrals. All exclusive to the set, choose from every finish imaginable, ultra smooth mattes, gorgeous pearls, and glimmering metallics. From the palest shimmery pink to the deepest black matte with red micro glitter, aptly named Blackheart. These neutrals will make you want to get naked all over again. And as they said, all of the colors in, I just hit myself in the mouth, all of the colors in this palette are exclusive to the palette. I guess some of the other naked palettes had colors from each other within them and this is just completely all exclusive to this palette. Along with the palette, you get four sample size primer potions. You get the original Eden Sin and Anti-Aging and it claims that each sample pod holds about a week's worth of primer. And in addition to the primer pods, you get a dual-ended eyeshadow brush. So this is what the actual packaging of the palette looks like. It's just, again, a rose goldy pinky color, and it has like rippling and, I guess you say it's like a pretty much a tin container but like the packaging is uber uber cute and pretty durable. I haven't dropped it yet, thank God, or anything like that, but I think it would probably stand up to a little bit, so you could probably travel with it, but again, that would be up to you whether or not you wanted to take your palette with you. So as you can see, it does come with a eyeshadow, a dual-ended eyeshadow brush. I've already used it, so it's a little bit messy, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out of there. That was a good catch. I caught it with my legs. And so if you haven't seen the colors yet, this is what they look like. Strange over here. Sorry, I don't even know the colors. I'm going to read it off of the box. So you're starting out with Strange right there. And then you have Dust. And then Burn Out. And then you've got Limit. Buzz, that goldy color is Trick, then you have Nooner, Liar, Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and lastly, Blackheart. So I will go ahead and I will do a couple of swatches of this for you. I'm making this incredibly hard on myself for some reason, I just couldn't figure out how to show you guys the colors of these. So. 
let's try this again this is like my third time trying this so first we have strange it's just a really really pale pink color which is great for a base color and it's kind of hard to show up on the skin well at least on my arm and then after that we have dust and then we have burnout and then we have limit and then there is buzz and then we've got trick which is a really really nice gold color and by the way I only really swatched my finger into the palette at least once and then rubbed it onto my arm so these are heavily pigmented as you can see so that right there is trick then we move on to nooner which is my absolute favorite color especially for blending things out and then we have liar we've got factory mugshot dark side and then black heart which is the darkest with the um, red uh, micro glitters in it so as you can see there's a raw a wide range of colors some of them look a little bit um, similar but in the end they all really turn out to be their own little individual little color scheme so I haven't had this palette all that long but for the amount of time that I have had it, I have worn it pretty much every single day that I've had it. I am wearing it on my eyes today. I don't know if you guys can really see my eyeshadow. This is my eyeshadow today, and I do have all, well, not all of the colors, but I do have some of the colors on today. And what I'm really loving to do with this palette specifically is take Nooner and just blend or use it around the eyeshadows that are already there just to kind of blend it all together and to harsh, harshen, to soften the um, harsh lines that you can get. I forgot to show you guys the primer potions. I have already started to use the original one and the pods are just a tiny little primer potion pod like this. On the back it tells you the primer potion you're going to be using and gives you a brief little write up of what that specific thing does so this is what the primer potions came in it's just a little card like this and then at the back it gives you a write-up of what the primer potions are it gives you a picture of using a primer potion 24 hours of wear with a primer potion and then 24 hours of eyeshadow wear without a primer potion let's be real i don't know who's wearing their eyeshadows for 24 hours but it's not gonna be this girl these this is what like the card looks like and it has all of the primer potions in there for those of you wondering this is what the dual ended brush looks like you've got a fluffier side for blending out and then you've got a more small kind of densely packed side for just placing color straight onto the lids I do like this brush I think it works pretty well considering it just comes with a palette it is pretty well made so I have tried the eyeshadows with the Urban Decay primer potion and I have tried the eyeshadows with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer and I find the results are pretty similar with both of them however I will say that the Urban Decay primer potion makes your eyeshadows last a little bit longer without creasing I have the primer potion the Urban Decay primer potion on today and I had it on a couple of days ago and yesterday I decided to use the Stay Don't Stray and I did find after about four hours of wear it was creasing in my crease a little bit and that didn't happen the day before with the Urban Decay Primer Potion so the longevity with the Primer Potion is a little bit better than the longevity with the Stay Don't Stray but the colors are still as vibrant no matter which primer I was using. So getting down to the price of the palette, I don't know why I didn't throw this in here earlier, but better late than never. Um, I got it from a Sephora in Burlington. If you guys don't know, I do live in Canada, so the prices are going to be a little bit more expensive here than it would be if, say, you got it in the States. The palette on its own was $62 before taxes, so after taxes it came to $70.06. I know a lot of you guys are thinking that dropping $70 for a palette is absolutely redonkulous, and trust me, I've had a lot of friends say, you spent what on a palette? But 
when it comes down to it the palette is definitely worth it you get a wide variety of colors and as you guys can see they are heavily pigmented they are beautiful colors they blend out like a charm I haven't used one of these yet that hasn't blended out nicely and they feel really really soft and silky obviously the ones with the glitters feel a little chalky like on your fingers but I don't notice that on my eyelids so it's pretty much safe to say that the naked 3 palette is by far one of my absolute favorites I get so excited every time I go to use it because the number of possibilities and the number of looks that you can make with this palette is seriously endless. So, is it worth it? I definitely think getting the Naked 3 palette is definitely worth the $70.06 if you're in Canada, obviously. There's just so many different eyeshadow looks that you can do, as I've said previously, and if you are a huge fan of rose gold hued eyeshadows or rose gold hued anything, you definitely are going to want this palette in your life. I am absolutely in freaking love with this palette. I will seriously be using it forever. But I do think that these eyeshadows are going to last a very long time. It is so heavily pigmented and they blend out like a charm that you, you're not going to be sitting there forever trying to build up the color. The color goes on nicely and they stay on for a long time. And even though it is $70, you get quite a bit for it. I mean, you get the palette with how many colors? 12? <laughs> You get the palette with 12 colors, you get 4 sample primer potions, and you get a dual-ended eyeshadow brush. So in a way, it's worth the $70. The results are there, the quality is there, it is worth the $70. So yes, I would say the Naked 3 palette is definitely worth the money, it's worth the hype. If you're into that kind of stuff and you like being able to create a neutral eye, then by all means, get yourself the Naked 3 palette. Because even though it says it's a neutral rose gold type of thing, you could easily do an intense eyeshadow look with this simply by using like these last four colors here and adding a, a little bit of a light in there somewhere. You could easily do something more dramatic. So that was my Is It Worth It? I hope you guys found this at least slightly helpful, especially if you've been dickering with buying the Naked 3 palette. If you guys want to see some makeup looks using the Naked 3 palette, then give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page. All of the links to those sites you can find in the about section of this video but if you guys have ideas please let me know and then I can look through them and kind of decide which one I want to do next because I have a whole bunch of ideas but sometimes I like to know what you guys want to see because then it gives me even more ideas and motivation and inspiration and what have you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so that way you will know exactly when a new video is up and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye